Hi, hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nash, and today we are gonna sit down and we are going to review Fenty Beauty's Balm Baby Mini Lip and Face Set. I received this set from one of my best friends for my birthday, and I couldn't be more excited to give it a try. Of course, since this is a new product that I've never tried, I wanted to sit down and film a video giving you kind of like my first impressions on the highlight as well as the gloss that is in the set. So if you're curious to see what I think about this Fenty Beauty mini lip and face set, sorry about my phone, then make sure you just keep on watching. All right, so let's get reviewing this set. So you receive the highlight and the gloss in this set. I got this shade in the highlight. Can you get multiple shades? That is the real question. Let me take a look. So in this set, you receive the highlight in the shade Kilowatt, and then the only gloss is the Gloss Balm Universal Lip Plumper. So it does claim to plump your lips as well. With this product, you receive 0 0.07 ounces of the highlight and 0.18 fluid ounces of the gloss. So this little set retails for $28 dollars Canadian or $23 American. A full-size highlight from Fenty Beauty retails for $42, $42 Canadian and $34 American. And then the full-size gloss retails for $23 Canadian or $18 American. So for this little kit, you're getting a pretty good price for what you get in the box. So let's go ahead and open this up and do some swatches, see how everything is gonna look. In here, you get the highlight and you get the shade Hustler Baby. The gloss is in Fenty Glow, I believe. Let's just see, let's open it up. I'm so confused. And just look at this gorgeous packaging it comes in. It comes in this like felt material packaging. Felt, is it felt? Not satin, I think it's felt. So of course we have the highlights here and then the gloss down below. So let's just go ahead and pop out the highlight first. It is a gorgeous highlight. It does come with a cute little mirror in the highlight as well, so that's super cute. So let's go ahead and give this a little twirl. Oh, why is Philly barking? Phil? Please pause for the intermission of my dog barking. All right, let's try this again. So in the highlight you have the Fenty Beauty little FB in there too, I did swatch it, so I did kind of ruin it a little bit, but you probably saw it when I did the close-up of the product. And then the same thing with the gloss, you have the FB logo on the tip of the gloss as well, so that's really cute. I like, I love the packaging of this. It's so, like, classic, just simple, classic packaging. It really good. I really like, I really like it. I really like it a lot. Let's just go ahead and start with the highlight. I have not applied any highlight to my face right now, which is probably why it's looking so dull. So we're gonna go in with this highlight today. And this highlight is coming off as like a pinky with like a gold with like pink reflect in it. So I think it's gonna look really nice with the look I have going on today. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to dip in. This is the SL, this is a SL Miss Glam L36 brush. And I've been loving this for highlight recently. This is all I've been highlighting with. So on the right side of my face, I'm gonna go in just with the brush and the highlight itself. And then on the left side, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush a bit to see what the difference is if you can build it up. Are you guys seeing that? It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. So this, I usually, I wouldn't even need to go in with like a setting spray or anything to wet my brush. But just out of curiosity, that's what we're gonna do. So I just wet my brush down a little bit and let's go into the highlight again and see what we get if the brush is a little bit damp. Holy, look how intense that is. I really hope this is picking up on camera as much as the intensity is in real life. Like that's insane. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on, but you guys honestly, like I don't even know if you'd have to go in with a wet brush it is definitely more intense on this side though. So let's just go in with a little bit more over here. Okay, and then we're gonna do the tip of the nose as usual. Light it up a little bit on the forehead, just right up here on the Cupid's bow. And then a little on the chin. Let's just throw a little on my chest area. <laughs> this is gorgeous, wow. You guys, this highlight is so nice. This might be, from what I'm seeing, favorite highlight that I've had so far. Definitely runner up. Like it has a very similar 
um, formula to the Anastasia highlights, at least the glow kit that I have. So I have the sugar glow kit here, and I would say it's quite similar to like maybe the shade Marshmallow. Let's just go ahead and swatch the two next to each other. Oh yeah, so Marshmallow is definitely a lot lighter. Here we have Marshmallow, and then here we have the Fenty. Sorry guys, I'm not flipping you off. So maybe it's even more a little similar to like Gumdrop. Uh, okay. So this is Marshmallow here, this is Fenty in Hustla Baby, and then this is in Gumdrop from Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. So very similar, if you can see, um, kind of has that gold with the pink reflect. So on the back of my hand, we have Fail! So Gumdrop is a little bit more pink. This is Gumdrop, and then this is Hustla Baby. But overall, you know what? Like it even has, the Anastasia ones have a little bit more of like a powderiness to them. And the Fenty Beauty just goes, slides on perfectly. It's so nice. Oh, I'm so excited! Brittany, if you're watching this, I love you! I guess moving on to the gloss. I do just have the one shade of gloss, which is considered like a universal shade. Now, it doesn't say there's a name, it just says Gloss Bomb. But then here it says Fenty Glow. Right here, it just says Fenty Glow. So I'm not sure exactly what the gloss name is called, but regardless. I did put on a little bit of a lip liner just because I do I do overdraw my, my lips a little bit when I do line and I didn't want to just go in with gloss. I never just go in with gloss anyway so I did put a little bit of lip liner on as well just underneath but let's go ahead and apply this and see how it looks. Oh wow that smells like candy. Yeah, you guys, that's such a nice gloss. I totally understand why they would say this shade is like a universal shade because this would flatter, I think, every skin tone. Like, I can't see it not. It's almost like a sheer formula with um, a hint of a goldy pink, almost like the highlight, a little bit more pink than the highlight, but it reflects with a little bit of gold in there as well, but looks really, really pretty on the lips. You know what this smells like too? Oh, this smells like, like literally an exact candy. Sour Patch Kids? Or like a Starburst, maybe? Oh, or Skittles? I don't know, but it smells delicious. That's all I know. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of a wear test because of course there's only two products, so, and they're pretty simple. It's not like it's an eyeshadow palette where I can do a whole look with them. So it's gonna be a pretty short video. So I am gonna do a wear test. It is a little bit later in the day, it's already, 12:51 in the afternoon and my husband just texted me actually like 10 minutes ago he's been wanting this job for like a few months now and he finally got it so he starts he puts his notice in on monday and then he starts in two weeks from monday so yay i'm so excited it's funny because my lucky number is 23 if you know me you might know that i have this weird thing with the number 23 and today is friday february 23rd so it's just kind of ironic that today is the day he found out that he got the job because it's my lucky number. So anyways, if you want to congratulate me, let me know down below so I can show him some congrats. That'd be really awesome of you guys. Otherwise, let's go ahead. I'm going to continue on with my day and then I'll come back here in a few hours and let you show you how the highlight's holding up. Of course, the gloss is not <laughs> to gloss. It's not like a liquid lipstick, so that's probably going to rub off fairly quickly. But the nice thing about a gloss is you can reapply, reapply throughout the day. It's really not that big of a deal. So otherwise, I will see you guys in just a few hours. All right, you guys, so I'm back. It is currently currently 3.17 in the afternoon, so this has been on for about two and a half hours, give or take. Sorry, there's some light coming through. I don't know what that is. But so far, you guys, the highlight is still looking gorgeous. Like, the highlight is definitely still holding up. It still looks flawless and beautiful. Don't know what's going on with my... Rig. The gloss is pretty much all gone because it is gloss. It goes off. I had a tuna sandwich Pretty much cut out after the tuna sandwich because that's what happens with lip gloss. The highlight still looks awesome you guys So I'm not sure what the plans are tonight me and Justin. I don't know He gets home right away here in a maybe 15 minutes or so and then we're gonna take the dog for his walk of the day and then come back, we'll probably just hang out, maybe watch a movie or something, so we're not doing too, too much. But I will come back in a few more hours before I go to bed, before or before I take my makeup off at least, and let you guys know how it's still looking. But so far, the gleam is still 100% there. It has not faded at all. It still looks gorgeous. So I'll be back in a few hours to show you guys how it is holding up throughout the evening and before I take my makeup off, and then I don't know what time that'll be. 
I don't know if I'm gonna shower earlier tonight before we watch movies. I don't really wanna sit and watch movies with a bunch of makeup on my face. So, uh, probably see you guys in about maybe an hour or so. We'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, you guys, so it's currently five. 34 in the evening. So this has been on for almost five hours now. I did just reapply the gloss because I just had supper. I ate some delicious spaghetti and it was completely gone. So this is what the gloss looks like with absolutely no lip liner or anything underneath it. Everything on my lips was gone. And it's just this really nice color, very nude. But you guys, the highlight is still on point. Still looks gorgeous on my skin. I am loving how this highlight looks. This is gonna be like, I think my number one reach for highlight. That and then the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit as well. I think those two are gonna be like my two favorites right now. And this gloss I think would look so nice over any lipstick or liquid lip or anything. Like it's just such a universal neutral shade that I think it would really look good on top of anything. So I'm really, really loving these two products. So if you guys like review videos, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I do post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel so you don't wanna miss out on that. Also, let me know if you want to see me review anything else. Um, I would definitely look into doing that for you guys. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.